Hello and welcome to my channel where we will be watching a film from the public domain. But first I would like to say thank you to my subscribers because you guys encourage me to continue making these videos. The film we're watching today is called The Lost Child and it's from 1904. So from the name I'm assuming that this is going to be a drama. Oh dude. American Mutoscope and Biograph Company. Directed by Walt. Directed by Wallace McCutcheon Sr. So I wanted to say this real quick. The Widow and the Only Man is, um, from the say it's 1904. It's the American Mutoscope and Biograph Company and is directed by Wallace McCutcheon Sr. The film has been mentioned as an example of the regular feature productions produced by Biograph from the summer of 1904 which allowed this company to overtake the Edison Company as America's foremost motion picture producer. Um, because I watched The Widow and the Only Man. The whole thing, it was a little uh, more than what I could understand, and then I found out that I didn't have the headphones plugged in for the entire thing, so it didn't actually get recorded. And I kind of zoned out for a little bit in the middle, so... It, so the recording probably wouldn't have been that good. Okay, the plot I'm not going to talk about because we do basically get that. Um, I will say the cast because that's not, they don't have credits. Catherine Osterman, so I assume that's the mother of the child. The film was entirely filmed on location in Brooklyn, New York, notably in Fort Hamilton. It was allegedly based on a recent incident of the era. Now I'm curious. John L. Fell reports that in November 1904, The Mirror applauded The Lost Child as a remarkable picture. The Lost Child has been singled out by several commentators as one of the most interesting early American chase films, possibly inspired by earlier British film such as Desperate Poaching Affair. Now. Uh, that movie is not on my list of movies to watch. It is only three minutes, or it's listed as only three minutes. I don't know if I looked it up to see if I could find it. But I am on to longer movies, so I don't expect that I'll go back and watch it. Plus, if that is, if this is inspired by that, then you've already seen this, so we don't need to watch every movie. Joyce E. Jezonowski mentions it as one of the best chase films made by the Biograph Company before the arrival of D.W. Griffith, showing a firm grasp of continuity cutting and where the chase is not a device that hypes the joke. It is the vehicle of the joke. Okay, hang on. That's... That's above me. I'm not even going to try to figure that one out. This film is an example of the fact that in 1904, Chase was a key device in cinema because it marked the increasing length of films at this time and allowed them to move in the direction of edited narration. While in later films, Chases would be incorporated into a wider narrative, here it is the subject of the film. Okay, so uh, that was interesting. Um, I like the movie, it's pretty easy to understand. And uh, let's go watch the film. <laughs> Alright, let's watch this. Oh, it's a little kid too. That's a pretty big doghouse back there. That dog's gonna be like twice as big as that kid. Ah, oh, dude. I have a tiny kitten. Is he getting in the doghouse? Yeah, that's what I was thinking I'd do. Go in the doghouse.
And she comes out and she doesn't know where the kid is. Okay, lady, there's a giant doghouse right next to where he was. Oh, she, I really thought that she was about to look in there. Okay, so the cameras left the doghouse, so I can't say for sure that that kid is staying in there. He got up and went somewhere else. What? She assumed. Oh no. Where are all these people coming from? Okay, I don't understand what's going on. Where's the lady? Oh, now they're chasing these people. So there's a cop. And he's going to see that this guy that I am was thinking was the milkman is being chased. Why is the cop not going? Why are all these people chasing that guy? Because they believed that lady who said, Oh, I see a person. He must have taken the kid. Well, you can't hide like that. I mean, they saw where you went. What is, what is the guy doing? The accused guy that didn't do anything wrong. Thought he was talking to the kid. Now he's hit somebody to try to get away. Wait, is that the wheelchair that the one guy was in? And now it's empty, so the guy was up again moving around. He's a quick runner. It's like, um, what is that movie? The heir to the Pruna house. He, uh, had all those people chasing him. Of course, that was a different situation. The unfortunate policeman, he had a bunch of people chasing him. Right? People were chasing him, but I don't remember why. Okay. All the people are chasing him. So, I get that all the people are chasing him. I was about to say, I'm surprised everybody was able to make it down just fine. And then I thought the one lady was going to fall and now the cart fell. Is that... That's the lady that was, like, talking to the policeman and... Okay, I was wondering if it was a baby or a fake baby or something in there, but it's definitely not a real baby. It's, like, stuff? More people. Oh, dude. The guy in the wheelchair. Yeah, you can walk faster without your wheelchair than sitting in it. And now the two people have to drag it behind them. There's a lot that I don't understand about this. I was really worried this was going to be a sad one, but... um. It's insane. They're chasing this guy because they've assumed this right. 
that that he's the one that took the kid, but now everybody's just believed that he's the one that took the kid, and man, he's able to to keep running a long time. As a cop, that's when you want to be able to call for backup, and you can just say, cut him off, he's going this direction. Nobody around here knows um, shortcuts, like, like, oh, if you, if you go through here and then you go, and then they'll, you'll cut him off. Nobody knows, knows those. All right, he's gonna go hide. Yeah, good. All right. They'll just keep running. So they know he turned down here, and they just go past. Now, dude, you have to remember there's stragglers. Not everybody is all together. Oh, maybe they are. Oh, dude, the man found him. The cop hadn't gone very far. That cop was way close. And now they've all come back, and then they're all going to get him. And they'll be like, I'm just a milkman. I was just there collecting the milk. That's a kitten. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, not a hamster. What's the thing? Guinea pig. It's a guinea pig. He was running all that way with all those guinea pigs? I wonder if that's what the little kid had. No, the little kid had a kitten. It had a tail. Oh, that is that dog is way small for that doghouse. Maybe it's a neighbor dog. Maybe it's the other dog. Maybe they have a pack of dogs. The kid hit that dog. That little kid seems awfully young to be, um, out chasing. So she's gonna be like, I left my kid right here, and then she's gonna turn around and... What? Now she looks in the doghouse? No. Now they all need to chase her around for a while. Like, you made us chase after this guy because you wanted to accuse him of something that he didn't do. Alright, I'm gonna go look at the Wikipedia article. I know. She was worried. Kid was missing. She can't think logically. Get that. Everybody else believed her. They were not freaked out that their kid was missing. They can think. Especially the cop, that's what he's supposed to do. Of course, the cop had an excuse. He could be, um, chasing after the guy to get him so he could talk to him. Oh, dude, what are they talking about? Si- Comedy. Silent. Comedy. A sweet- No. We're not- Oops. Pause. Okay, be ready this time. Plenty of good help. The sixth girl- wait, no. Okay. Now, can you go back? Let me know what you thought of it. With the thumbs? Nope. Have fun and watch movies. That's it, see you later.